Good morning and hello everybody wherever you are in the world. I would like to share with you something that I had in my email box and it's uh, I want to give a big thank you to Adrian. Yoga with Adrian, you might know her. She's really a young lady who's doing really amazing yoga classes, short sequences in her very natural and fresh style of yoga and I just really love it and it was about uh, suffering in the world. I give a lot of workshops and I find recently that really a lot of people suffer from a lack of energy, they feel exhausted, they feel tired all the time and they still try to put up with the system and um, yeah, it causes a lot of pain and a lot of issues with self-worth because if we cannot keep up with, with the, whatever is going on, we think that something's wrong with us and this causes a lot of suffering. And especially our own suffering is also a mirror of the suffering in the world. We are human beings and we are connected with everything. And actually yoga is really about the union to feel yourself as one with everything there is. And that really includes the positive and the negative. There's so much going on in the New Age community about only striving for happiness and only the good feelings. And this is what we are really looking for, the pursuit of happiness and the darkness, the pain. We want to avoid that. We want to cover that up. And the whole social media arena, you can really see how, uh, yeah, all these fake smile people, gurus who want to really sell you a picture of the world that has nothing to do with the reality. Because the reality is that we always, everything, the universe always wants to make balance. So we have the suffering and we have the joy. We have the tears and we have the laughter. And to love it all and to integrate all both aspects. And this is the art of living. That's the art of really allowing and accepting. So long short, short, long story short, I would just like to share this wonderful email newsletter that Adrian shared. It's called Texas Summer, dedicated to suffering, where each morning you shamefully forget about the state of the world of a one small moment while you wreck your brain around trying to decide if you can and should have your coffee hot or ice cold. But then I laugh at my privileged conundrum and wipe the sweat from my brow. I look up and I look out at the world. And damn it, I just see so much suffering everywhere hard and beautiful. We seem to really like to practice seeing the beauty in others and in the universe these days. Good. But I don't think we are adequately keeping up with the practice of also acknowledging the pain. And I see folks with such great desire to help others see their beauty and their suffering. I am one of those people with that desire. However, the reality is, if you're going to be able to serve another, to see their lightness and their darkness fully. You know what I'm going to say, right? You must be able to acknowledge your own beauty, your own pain, and your own suffering fully. And let's face it, we are not always set up or supported to do this. We are fully set up to mask pain, to share the Instagram versus reality. The practice of seeing and feeling yourself fully equips you to see and accept others. This is the yoga that reminds us to recognize on a daily basis 
we are one. I wish all of you that you are able to embrace all aspects of yourself and come into deep peace with the shadow aspects and the light aspects of yourself. That doesn't mean that you just say, I don't want any, I don't want to improve myself or I don't want to change, but make peace. We are full spectrum human beings and this includes light and it includes darkness as well. I wish you peace, I wish you happiness and I wish you deep compassioning for your own suffering and for the suffering in the world because it's all one. Bye-bye.